I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halson again soon. A devil child! One who tried to steal from us! You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. No. Well, it's our job to get us out of here safely, not yours. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. Still alive, right, so that's progress. I don't care what Mole says. Stupid and reckless. My dagger happy friend, what troubles you? He stares right past you, as if you're invisible, or boring. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. Anyway, you want to talk? Talk. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at.
The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Never see us coming. Dagger. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel.
tools. Someone there. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not. Can't give grumpy. up now. Scowl on your face to fight a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Hm. See how you feel when your pack is empty. It'll be this or a handful of weeds. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. What I did for some Ah, oh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. She is not to know of the... Our ailment. Only a gith healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. <gasps> you poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house, just at the edge of the forest. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Petal.
I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Please, no help have mercy. You. We're exposed now. gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this your mind wonders if the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth would she taste the metal before she died shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gotta kill her too. <laughs> you, move! Would hate me for this, but he's not here. They took him from me. Don't you dare! Damn you! Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? T Your soft heart will be the death of us. Gods, you're exhausting. Fine then. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Didn't expect to see a drow in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Tell the boss all about this pretty little place. 
so she can burn it to the ground. We'll be heroes, blessed by Priestess Gut in the name of the Absolute. You won't regret it, promise. You're gonna be sorry, every last Trust one of you. Me. With pleasure. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Happily, lead the way. That might be worth a look. Thought I was never gonna get out of there. Good to be free again, gotta say. I'll introduce you to my whole tribe and put in a good word for you. See you at the camp. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a Cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come.
there. Middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Call it a ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now, why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpoled head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet. Have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out.
necklace matches the sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt, a spider egg is nestled within. as pierce your flesh and pain shoots up your arm and across your back. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The spiders skitter about more nervous than before. What now? At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Spiders scatter, and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Have a lot on my mind, and, well, My faith will guide me. Still breathing, despite everything. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response.
He's hurt badly, and Owlbear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. The parasite is stubborn and refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Owlbear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. like a shrine to Saluna over there. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. an old prayer. Ah! This 
thing won't yield its contents easily. Chests unlocked. My prayers are answered. You should leave it, or even destroy it, if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. you can sell them for a couple of coins. Let's move. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. Albert's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an Albert cub. The Albert stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now or step closer and die. Keep a blade close. Let's prowl. So much for peace. May the gods take you first.
give in. Very well. looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. <laughs> it hurts. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. The cub has a fighting chance now. to be worth a fortune. What to do? Do you think your kin search for you, Blazel? 